if I could, it was quite a dramatic ending. What did you make of the collision between Saka and Neuer, and do you think it was a penalty? I haven't seen it. The decision is made. Uh, we cannot change that, and um, and we have to focus on other aspects that uh, that we can control, and um, we could have done much better tonight. And did you speak to the referee? No. Paul from Sky. Mikhail, do you think... Bukayo Saka, could he have stayed on his feet at the end? I haven't seen the image. For me, it's easy to say when with distance, but uh, I will review it. How do you assess the challenge that lies ahead of Germany next week after tonight's result and performance? Well, I think we started the game really well. Um, we were dominant. We played in the opponent's half. Uh, we generated some momentum, scored the first goal, and then it's a critical moment of the match. Uh, ben White is in front of Neuer to make it 2-0. And, uh, and we have to put that ball in the back of the net and then becomes a different moment. And then in Champions League, you cannot give anything to the opponent. Uh, we have given them two goals today. And, uh, and when, when you have these situations, they are going to punish you. And that's the biggest lesson. Um, the margins are very small in this competition. Uh, it's really difficult to penetrate opponent, to create big quality chances against uh, this level of opposition. Uh, make sure as well we don't give anything but uh, I think the team showed a lot of composure especially after 2-1 because uh, you can throw your toys away and generate a lot of spaces for the opponent and lose the tie in 20 minutes. We haven't done that. I think the subs made a huge impact. I think the way they came on the pitch, their body language, the attitude, the initiative that they took to make things happen made a big difference for the team. Was that back Hola, Miquel. En castellano, por favor. Una pregunta sobre Martín Oveda, que hoy ha sido declarado MVP del partido. ¿Qué valoración haces de su encuentro y del crecimiento que está teniendo contigo como jugador del Arsenal? Gracias. Ha ah, tenido un impacto tremendo en, en nuestro equipo, en nuestro juego, en, en la capacidad que tiene de seguir mejorando y de seguir siendo un jugador que, que para nosotros es diferencial. Y creo que hoy otra vez ha estado muy bien, ha tenido mucha personalidad, ha entendido el partido bien. Y nos va a seguir dando mucho porque es muy joven todavía. ¿Su capacidad de trabajo viene porque tú se la has pedido o porque ha salido de trabajar dentro del campo? Nosotros tenemos que intentar inspirar para que la saque. La tiene porque tiene de la manera que vive, de la manera que le gusta entrenar eh, y lo que quiere mejorar, al final es lo que le lleva en el día a día a hacerlo. Si no, lo haría un día o dos y no lo haría, pero cuando alguien es tan consistente es que eso se ha convertido en un hábito para él y, y es un jugador clave para nosotros. Santo Telecom. Harry, you mentioned the two goals you gave away. Obviously, Saliba and Gabriel have been so good all year, but almost perfect. But what, what was the difference tonight? Now this happens. Uh, maybe it happened before and you don't get punished, but this is the level. Uh, against this kind of players, this kind of opposition, especially if they have a space, um, you know that they can punish you. And, um, and we have let them run in a few occasions, and that's something that obviously in the return leg we have to do much better. A lot of talk about Harry Kane's challenge on Gabriel with the, the arm and the elbow. What did you make of that? No, I haven't seen it again. I think the referees made a decision and um, that's done. Okay. Okay, you've spoken a lot this season about the need at this <coughs> stage for 25 fit players and having a really strong squad. Did we see what impact that can have tonight with the subs? Absolutely. When you bring two or three players like uh, we have done with uh, Bro Alex, right. we have to have time to change a few things. And then um, with Leo and um, and Gabi, then Thomas when he needs, because like, when he became a bit chaotic the game and it was a big danger to lose it, I think they all had a, a big impact tonight. And those subs, a lot of them are so experienced in this competition, but do you think maybe when the momentum shifted in the first half, maybe your team showed a little bit of inexperience at this stage with the way they're sort of trying to win it? it almost like that injury, I don't know, but uh, obviously that created some insecurity in the team because we have given them things that uh, they have to earn it and, and then you start to defend open space against them that they have a huge capacity to hurt you there. But uh, afterwards, I think we reacted well and um, we never gave up. Thank you to the crowd again for the atmosphere. It was unbelievable. And we go again in Munich. Amy? Being in such great form in the Premier League, do you feel like you've learned something about your players when you see them in this kind of slightly different environment, the, the, the different questions that they've had to face today? Yes, but that's, uh, that's experiences and uh, and they have done really well. You know, there are moments in games uh, that are very defining, especially in the Champions League, and today we have seen a very clear example of that. Yes, sir. By the end, the Kyle looked obviously furious after the penalty decision. Have you seen him like that on the pitch, in, in that emotional state after 
a decision. I was already looking at the other goal because he was there. I said, we are with 10 men. The game hasn't been finished. And uh, and I was more worried about that, that, that Bill's reaction. Can you, can you understand sympathize with that reaction? Looking at yeah, for sure. If, if he had that belief that it was a penalty, for sure you're going to react like this. Yeah, what you say? Um, Arteta, um, what's the mood like in the change rooms? Because obviously you talked about the disappointment of not managing to get the win, but what are the boys currently feeling like in the change room? Is there the optimism to go to Munich? Yeah, obviously in in certain way um, that we are alive and, and we've done what we had to do after the game became very, very difficult for us, but as well understanding that uh, that we have to step up the level in certain aspects of the game uh, to be much better and to have a, a real chance for us to, to win the game. OK, we have lost two now. Uh, oh, just, yeah. When you spoke about the small margins, does Champions League experience come into that that Bayern have? And if so, like, how do you speak to a new team in the Champions League to, to get over that or to kind of compensate? Well, I think we have made some mistakes today and uh, I think probability for the next hap next time to happen, there are less. So, okay, it happened today. Let's learn from it. Uh, let's support those players that they've been unbelievable. And it's part of football as well. Okay, the old adage, if you can't win again, don't lose the game. Is that what the players have to understand moving forward from this? Because it's still basically 50-50, would you say, going into the Allianz Arena. You have to have that belief, but the history is showing you otherwise. You've just got to make that history now, haven't you, when you go back there. How is that going to be difficult for you to push on from today's result to say, listen, we came close today? Yeah, you have to feel it on the pitch and, and, and game state tells you and it gives you a lot of information. Is the game there for the taking? Raise the level of risk and um, and commit uh, more players forward or, or do something else. The game is in a state that be careful. And I think the game after the scoring and giving three, four, five straight balls away and allow certain transition, it wasn't there to win it, and it was closer to lose if, if we make a few mistakes. And but uh, I am, I am very proud, and and now I sense the belief that okay, we're gonna go to Munich and uh, we're gonna have the chance to win it, and, and we're gonna be better in certain areas, and and that's how we're going to prepare it. Okay, thanks yeah. everyone. Thank you.